In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some easy and approachable Christmas crafts that I'm going to be doing with a lot of my leftover paint and these items that I found at the dollar store. So let's get started. Something that's definitely trending this holiday season are bells and they had these cute little bells in red and gold. I grabbed the gold ones, but it really doesn't matter which ones you grab. Um, I removed all this decorative stuff on here because it's pretty fake and cheesy and I don't like the gold color on here. It looks really fake because these are plastic, but we're going to make these look a little bit more antique and like real bells. So I'm using my Dixie Belle chalk style paint in the color caviar, which is a true black. This is the same technique I used for an antique mirror. So I'm just going to coat everything in black to give it a nice base. It doesn't have to be like a full coat because I'm going to add this gold gilding wax on top. This is one of my go to's for my crafting and DIY. I just love the way that this looks. I have had this one can for a long time and it still is performing. So these last a really long time because I've done tons of projects with them. I'm using a little artist brush and just getting this gold gilding wax all over the bells. Look at this beautiful antique look that it gives. You can put as much of this on as you want, but I really like having the texture on here and having a little bit of that black come through because it's just going to make it look more like metal. Once I got all these done, I let them dry overnight and now I'm going to add a little rope so that I can hang them from my mantle. I got this jute at the dollar store as well and I'm going to cut it into three sections, making them all different lengths. So one a little bit shorter than the last. Once I was done cutting all three ropes, I just fed it through the top of the bell and then I put a knot underneath to keep the rope in place. Then I'm just going to repeat this process with each bell. The reason why I'm doing these in different lengths is because the bells are all the same size, so we don't want them all falling together. It's just going to give it a little bit more interest and more depth to have them all at different heights when I bunch them together. I hung these on my mantle with a little bit of greenery and this is the final look. I think they are so cute and you would never be able to tell that they're plastic. They look like real metal bells. Okay, next up they had this section with all this scrap wood. I had no idea this was in the dollar store, so <laughs> this was exciting to find. Um, I grabbed a couple of these, this large one and then two skinny ones and then I got this square as well and I thought I could make a cute little modern Christmas tree out of this. I started off by removing the stickers that were on here and getting ready to stain these. I'm going to use Dixie Belle Voodoo gel stains. These are water-based stains and they're really easy to work with. I decided to go with All Natural. It just adds a little bit of color to this wood, making it look raw, but takes those yellow tones out. But they do have a brown one if you wanted to go a little bit deeper. And I also like using the white one too for a whitewash look. This is really easy to use. You just put some stain on the wood and I rub it in with a brush or a lint free rag like I have right here. And I'm just covering all of the sides on here to get the stain applied evenly. I like to wear gloves when I'm working with this product just because it keeps my hands clean, but it's definitely not necessary. Once that's all dry, I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to apply all these pieces together to make my Christmas tree shape. Now you could make this look really good and miter the corners, whether with a saw and a miter box or a saw or some miter shears, but you know, I wasn't <laughs> into doing all that work and I wanted to make this really easy and beginner friendly in case you wanted to do it with your kids. So it's going to have a little bit more of a rustic look, but you get the idea. And I accidentally forgot to show me gluing on the base, but I used that square for the base and this is the final result. I think it's super cute. Okay, moving on, I'm going to try to make another Christmas tree with these little wooden boxes. So I just laid them out and kind of put my Christmas tree shape together and figured out what I was going to do before I glued it all together. And then I just took my hot glue gun again and made my rows. And then once I had all my rows glued together, I put those together to make my Christmas tree shape. My advice here is to take it easy on the glue because you don't want it glopping out on the sides because then when you go to paint it or stain it, um, that's not going to look so good. So just take it easy on the glue. This turned out okay. It definitely looks like a Roblox tree and my husband uh, noticed that it could double as a dreidel as well. I decided to use the darker stain on this one. This is called Tobacco Road, so this is going to be a darker brown stain. 
Again, I'm applying it with just a lint-free rag and applying the stain all over. This turned out pretty cute. It's definitely not my favorite, but it is an easy craft that you can do with the kids. And here's another craft that I think would be great to do with your kids. You're basically gonna do a paint by number with any cute sign that you find in the dollar store. I really liked this one, this little snowman. I thought he was cute, but I wanna make him look like a hand painted sign. So I grabbed my artist brushes in a bunch of different colors that I wanted to paint him. And I'm basically treating this board like a paint by number. So I'm just taking the colors that I wanna use and painting over this. And instead of looking like a printed sign in the end, it's gonna look like a hand painted sign. So this is perfect for people that are kind of overwhelmed by crafting and you're afraid of messing it up. You literally cannot mess up this project because it's just like a paint by number or a coloring book. And it gives you the freedom to decorate with the colors that you like and paint your snowman or your sign any colors that you want. This is a great way to use any leftover paint that you have. Sometimes I don't use all my paint on a furniture project, but I just have a little bit left and nothing that's going to be able to work on another piece of furniture. So it's really great to be able to use this paint in another way and just do creative crafts with all that leftover paint that I have. I'm going to put this sign in my dining room that has a lot of greens and yellow mustards in it. So I made his mittens green and then I'm going to do his scarf a mustard yellow. Again, I think this is a fun little craft to use leftover paint with and anybody can do it and you don't have to feel intimidated by it. And I think he looks really cute and it looks like I hand painted a sign, which I could never do. Next, I found a lot of these DIY ornaments. They have a bunch of different sizes and I thought these would be really cool to do a paint pour in. So I grabbed some white paint and again, that dark green paint. I really, really love this dark green called colored green. So I'm using it a lot in these crafts and you just add a little bit of water. You want the paint to be runnier than it comes out of the can, but not too runny. And once you get your paint to a good consistency, you're just gonna pour a little bit of each color into the bulb and then move the bulb around slowly to try to get that paint to adhere to the inside of the ornament. This process definitely took a lot longer than I thought it would. I tried originally having the paint be really watery so that it would flow easily in here, but the colors just really mix together and get super muddy. So I like having the paint a little bit thicker, but it takes a long time and a lot of patience to sit there and make sure it's coating the entire ornament. On the second one, I decided to try to get a little bit more of a marbling effect. So I took a little toothpick skewer that I had and kind of marbled the colors together before I started um, maneuvering them around the inside of the bulb. In the end, I don't think this made that much of a difference because when they are sitting and you're letting them dry, the paint kind of takes over and just does its own thing. So my suggestion is just play around with it and get all the paint in there and not try to overthink it because you really can't control it. Once they were dry, I just cut off the tags on here because they already had a nice little string on here so I didn't have to replace that. You're just gonna place this right on top and then you have some beautiful handmade ornaments that you can hang on your tree. I love this idea because you can use the colors that fit to your color scheme the way you decorate your tree. My tree is very neutral and white and so having the green and the white went on here perfectly. Okay, next up in the craft section, they have these cute little wood signs. They have a square one and a circular one, and they're honestly really cute just to begin with. If you're good at freehanding, you could just draw anything you want on here. I am not, so I'm gonna stencil. And I actually made my own stencil because I have a Cricut and had the supplies, but you could just get a stencil from the craft store, that anything that you want, or you could hand paint if you're good at hand painting. Again, I am not. So I found a snowflake that I liked, and I'm just using that artist brush and just stippling this on here. I really like using Using these Cricut stencils because they stick and so they don't bleed at all and it ends up looking pretty flawless when you take this off. This turned out so cute and simple and I was really gentle with my stencil so that I could use it again. I also found these black canvases in the craft aisle and I thought this was super cool um, to do like a little dry brush of a snowflake on here. I love having the black canvas and not having to paint it myself. 
So I grabbed just a little bit of white paint and got most of that off as you can see up here. So I'm just doing a technique that's called dry brushing. So I'm lightly rubbing against the canvas just so that texture in there is showing up. And this is gonna give a cool little effect here. And I loved keeping the square on here just for something a little different. So I think both of these turned out really cute. I like the way this one looks against my dark wall in my dining room. And of course you could hang it up by those beads too. And then the black one looks really good up against my board and batten wall here on this little shelf. So both were really cute and easy. Okay, my last craft I have for you, I found these cute little miniatures in the holiday section. They have snowmen and then they had angels too, and then little tiny trees. So again, these would be something that would be really fun to paint with the kids. It is a little intricate to be painting something this delicate, but I decided to just do a color scheme of white, black, and that dark green that I've been using throughout all my crafts because that's like my holiday theme and it matches with the decor in my house. I'm not a big red Christmas person, but if you are, you can paint this any color you want. That's the beauty of it. Like if you do rainbow, you could do rainbow. If you like hot pinks, um, if you want to put sparkles on them, you could do anything to match the motif of the way you decorate for the holidays which I love because you can't always find what you want in the stores. And lastly, I'm taking the little angels and I'm gonna paint those all black because I'm gonna do the same look with these that we did with the bells and put the gold gilding wax on these when I'm done painting them. And if you're not a fan of gold, this gilding wax comes in bronze and copper too. So any type of metal look you wanna get on these would be really easy to do. And like I mentioned earlier, I use this gilding wax all the time and I still have a ton left. So a little bit goes a long way. So here's how I decorated with all these little miniatures. I put them with these other trees that I have and it looks so cute. Um, these were definitely my daughter's favorite. She thought they were so cute and screamed when she came home from school and saw them. And I really love the angels too. They turned out really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not always about creating the perfect home decor item, but it's about having fun and getting into the season and using your hands. And I hope some of these crafts seem approachable and fun to you. Let me know which was your favorite down in the comments or which one you'd love to try out. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.